Phoenix police say our streets are safer tonight and that the serial killer is officially behind bars. Tonight, the department confirms that Aaron Saucedo is the serial street shooter. It's a case that has kept people living in fear for months. Saucedo is facing charges for a total of 12 shooting incidents occurring between August 2015 and July 2016. Phoenix PD now linking the 23-year-old to more crimes, including the one he's already in jail for, the murder of his mother's boyfriend, which investigators now think is the first of the serial shooting. They're also adding the murder uh, murder of Jesse Olivas on New Year's Day 2016. Tonight you're getting the best live team coverage. Kevin Kennedy is talking with the victim's families. But first, Team 12's Ryan Cody live at the 4th Avenue Jail with information we're learning tonight. Ryan. 3,300 silent witness tips. Police using some of that information to tie two additional murders to the serial street shooting case. And tonight, the department pinning all of them on one man, Aaron Saucedo, who's expected to be arraigned here at the 4th Avenue Jail overnight. During the night of August 12th, January 1st, March 18th, one by one, April 1st, June 3rd, Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams outlining a crime spree in the Valley, 12 shooting incidents, nine murders. Our hearts go out to the surviving families. Today, we are closer to providing them the justice they deserve. Aaron Saucedo, already in custody, facing charges from the 2015 murder of his mother's boyfriend, now linked to the serial street shooting crime line. Saucedo was rebooked into the Maricopa County Jail for 26 additional felony counts, including multiple counts of homicide, aggravated assault, and drive-by shootings. At this point, there is no motive, and aside from the murder of his mother's boyfriend, no connection to any of the other victims. But ballistics, security camera video, and an odd admission about a lack of crime during one time period is enough for probable cause. Both the description of his vehicle and composite sketch of the suspect were released in that time period. Uh, he has told us that he did, after that, change his appearance and stop driving his BMW. Police do not believe that's a coincidence. It also leads them to believe he acted alone. The evidence that we continue to discover daily continues to point back to one suspect potentially ending the hunt for a serial killer. Finally, what we expected to happen did happen. Chief Williams also confirming that Saucedo's gun has been tested and compared to ballistics in the freeway shooting case and says those two cases are not linked. This case now goes to the county attorney's office to file charges. We're live in downtown Phoenix, Ryan Cody, 12 News at 10.